Morning everybody, my name is Guy Austin, I'm the project director for the development here and behind me is building one, the first of our three buildings. We moved in here at the, uh, at the end of May this year so we've now got 700 plus staff all working together under one roof which is fantastic for the team. So let's go and have a look in there and we'll walk through and we'll go and have a look at what we're doing with our follow-on projects with building two and three. Here we are on the main street of the factory. Those of you who have watched previous videos are very familiar with this, 160 metres from one end to the other. We actually moved in here in three phases. So the first people that moved in were all the people who work upstairs, all the engineers, finance, commercial, IT. So they moved in as the first phase. Then we moved manufacturing in and finally it was the race team and R&D. There's a huge amount of excitement around what uh, Aston Martin Racing are doing here at, at Silverstone with our new factory. We host so many guests, so many partners, uh, Aston Martin cars themselves come here and the reaction to our new home has just overwhelmingly been uh, really positive. Let's go and have a look at buildings two and three. So behind me you can see the foundations for building two. We started this straight off the Grand Prix last year, so not very long ago. We've got about 40 ground workers today working on the, uh, on the foundations and drainage and car parking over this side. Uh, really good progress. Steel work starts on Monday, which will be really exciting. At that stage the building starts taking shape and everybody thinks it's done, but it's not. We won't actually move in until next September. You may remember this is where the old factory was. That's gone, we recycled as much as we possibly can. All the steel's been recycled, the plasterboard's been recycled, and uh, even all the concrete and brickwork has been crushed and used in the foundations of the new building. So the heritage remains. So we're gonna head down now and have a look on site, a bit closer to what's going on, both on building two and building three. So here we are, I'm standing in the middle of what will be our new building too. You can see the size of it, it's, a, it's nearly twice the size of the building we moved out of. See the engineer here checking the position of the foundations because in three days time we've got the steel coming in here to start building the frame. After that we'll do the upper floor, we'll get that cast and then we can start closing the building in. Here we are on one of the foundation pads and you see the, 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 the bolts are already cast in ready for the steel. But you see they come in cones so we can move them around because they're unlikely when you're casting in concrete to be in exactly the right place. So when the steel base plates come here, they've just got some adjustment so that we can make sure that uh, the steel gets bolted down properly. So what's going to be in this building? Well, there's going to be our staff restaurant, which is just going to be a fantastic space. Looking north over the countryside of Northamptonshire here with full height glazing, 12 meters high. We can cater for a third of our staff at any one sitting in that restaurant. Uh, next to that is going to be our staff gym, again looking out over the Northamptonshire countryside. And out of the gym there's a trim trail which is half a kilometre long. For a bit of fun it's in the shape of the Silverstone circuit. As I say each lap is exactly half a kilometre so everyone knows how many, how many kilometres they're running. We're going to have a media studio in there, an event space, our simulator, driver simulators going in there. As well as a dining establishment, a bistro on the first floor of the building so that people have a choice of lunch. Each of our three buildings will be linked together with, a, with an elevated bridge, glazed bridge at high level, first floor level, so that everybody can walk between one building and another without going out in the cold or in the wet. Behind me is the uh, foundation that's been dug out ready to cast the concrete for the driver simulator base. Uh, this is a new simulator that, uh, that we're buying. It's like a fairground ride for the, for the drivers. They're able to practice uh, before they go to a real track, they're able to get in the simulator and practice driving our car in any track around the world. And that's what this facility is for. This is a, a huge advance on the facility that we've got already. Uh, it's the next generation, really. Uh, and I guess in terms of area of the building, this is about three times the size of the area that our existing simulator uses. Building two, here where we are, is, is due to complete next September. So we'll actually move in in early October. Then uh, building three, let's go and have a look there because uh, that'll be finished around the same time, September next year. So we're going to start moving people in here in, in January 2024 to start production of parts in here. But it'll still be a building site because we actually don't finish the wind tunnel itself until next September. That's when it finally gets commissioned and we can take it over. Um, but this building, the building element if you like, the workshop element, will be complete by Christmas. So we're going to move in and take advantage of that. So up on the first floor is where the model is prepared before it goes into the wind tunnel for the for the testing. 
So much of the parts for the model are made downstairs. They'll come upstairs, they get trimmed and glued together and uh, in this, what we call the dirty model shop, which is this end of the model shop here. Then we go through to the clean model shop where everything is actually brought together um, in terms of, you know, making it look nice and the quality of the parts being right. They get checked. And then uh, finally, we go through to the model assembly area, uh, which is here. Now in here, the model's actually properly put together, ready to go into the wind tunnel itself. So once the model is prepared and built here, it goes through into the wind tunnel test, uh, into the test section of the wind tunnel itself. And it'll go through the door behind me on my, on, on my left-hand side here. And we'll go through and have a little look um, through there. Having our own wind tunnel here uh, is really important because it means that within the rules we can test when we want to test. At the moment we rent time in somebody else's wind tunnel and because it's their wind tunnel we can only test at certain times that are not necessarily the most convenient or when we really want to do a test for whatever reason. So having one on site here it's great for the engineers, it's great that we don't have to put the model in a van and take it somewhere else and it's great because within the rules and there are constraints on the use of a wind tunnel, within the rules we can test when we want to test for the time we want to test. A facility like this is very complex, integrating everything together, making sure that it's built to the tolerances which are extremely fine. We're going to do another one of these videos before Christmas to, so you can come back and see progress. By that stage, we'd have progressed this wind tunnel behind me, we'd have progressed the build around corner four, hopefully we'll be at corner three. On the other end, we're working in two directions, so we'll be around corner one, working towards corner two, ready for the fan itself to be to be delivered. As far as building two goes, we're starting our steel frame erection next week. So when you come back and have a look, the steel frame will be up, the first floor will be in. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time.